The Italian defense firm Leonardo has unveiled a system designed to protect Europe's cities and infrastructures. It's called the Michelangelo Dome and detecting and responding to threats from air, sea and ground. It's supported by artificial intelligence and set to be operational by 2028. It's Leonardo developing the system as Europe looks to ramp up its own defense industry. The chief executive <coughs> on the general manager of Leonardo is Roberto Ciccolini, and he's with me now. Roberto, good, good evening to you. Um, when I hear the word dome, of course, we all think of Iron Dome and some sort of system the like that that stops incoming. But I gather this is a lot more. It's a comprehensive system, not just designed to shoot down incoming missiles. Sure. Uh, well, the concept is an open architecture that allows communication of different defense systems from satellites, aircraft, land defense systems, ships, uh, drones. Um, those uh, platforms are connected in a, in a cyber protected environment, which is the battle area, basically. Uh, and all data, uh, data are produced in a range of hundreds and hundreds of terabytes per second. Uh, all data are collected and analyzed by high performance computers so that AI can evaluate the threat uh, and assign uh, the weapon to destroy the threat. The point is the difference with what we know so far is that the architecture is open. So we add, we develop and add an upper layer of communication that allows different platforms from, from different builders to communicate and to be interoperable, uh, inter-exchangeable, and of course being interconnected in the multi-domain. Every country can participate and this is a sort of okay. short track, um, short track to, to accelerate the, okay. the uh, air defense. It all sounds very complicated and very expensive. Oh, uh, actually, it should be the other way around. This is sort of reverse engineering. Very expensive is to buy uh, the same defense platform for all countries. I mean, if you consider Europe with 27 countries, it's almost impossible that all country purchases the same platform from the same builder. Uh, it's a very heterogeneous um, defense system, each country having different, different aircraft, different tanks. Uh, so the only way is to let them communicate and, and being interoperable uh, Given the existing arsenal, you have to facilitate the interaction among the different platforms. Okay, so, so this actually is compatible to, to, the, to the NATO standard. Okay, so I'm just curious. Let's take, for example, these various uh, alleged Russian incursions, whether it's in Poland or any, any of the, the Baltic countries. How would something like um, Michelangelo Dome work in those scenarios? Yeah, let me give you an example. Uh, for the time being, we know uh, air threats can be uh, ballistic uh, missiles flying at five, six kilometers per second, uh, hypersonic missiles f flying maybe two kilometers per second, but changing the trajectory. So you need to uh, see by a satellite when they're launched to track the, the trajectory with a combination of satellites and radars, and then to decide how to neutralize the threat. Now, this cannot be done in a single kill chain. You need different sensors, as many sensors as you can, uh, selecting the best uh, weapon to destroy the threat uh, suggested by the AI. So the more platforms you have interoperable into this uh, uh, defensive domain, the, highest, the higher is the probability right. to neutralize the threat. So this is simply a communication problem. How do you avoid the system becoming too clever for its own good? And I don't mean <coughs> killer robots. I mean that you put in place a system that, you know, does everything except make a cup of tea. And yet, in the heat of the moment, as we've seen, look, we've seen in Ukraine war, that what it's really about is drones and and uh, slaughter machines and people dying in trenches and things like that. A, a complicated yeah. system can help, but it, can it be too too clever for its own good? Yeah, uh, I have a twofold answer. The first one is that uh, we have to be afraid of multiple attacks. So uh, tens of missiles, swarms of drones, a combination of uh, attacking systems, and you have to neutralize them almost in parallel. Uh, so uh, the, the standard uh, human, um, human chain should, could be too slow for a massive parallel attack uh, based on very fast threats like the missiles. So AI just accelerates 
the analysis of the, uh, the evaluation of the threat and the, the choice of the weapon to destroy the threat. This simply gives to a human that has a final command uh, more material, more information to make the best decision, actually to, to select the weapon that has the highest probability to destroy the threat. Uh, clearly, there is a multiplicity of, 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 of weapons like swarms of drones and, and missiles. They can, they can reach you all at the same time. So you need to accelerate the detection time and the decision-making process. The standard doctrine could be too slow for the present technology. I'm grateful to you, sir, for joining us. And we'll watch... I, I, I hear you say 2028. 20, That's only around the corner. We'll be talking about it more with you, I'm sure, between now and then. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Good night.